Hello, my name is Michael and here we will be going over some color correction that you might have to do during a broadcast or a live uh, or a live shoot. The video I filmed, I made sure that there was some correction to be done. Um, as you can see, the video I have is very overexposed and we will be going over and fixing that. So we will be going over what to do on set as if you're working at a shoot. First things first is removing the lens cap from the camera equipment you are using. You would be surprised as how often people forget to remove the lens cap before recording. After this, you would generally put up bars and do more testing. Set your dB gain to zero. Don't forget to set your up your white balance. It's preferable to do it manually instead of letting it automatically find the white balance. Since we're not in the studio for this, instead we will be showing you the importance of setting your gammas to the right tones and setting the saturation to zero. Here we have some footage that has no color correction done, but shortly we will go through and set the color balancing. Before editing, make sure your scopes are set to waveform so you can see the luminance and the shadows of the image. So first we will be going over the color correction. We will be adjusting the whites first, bring it to the top so you can even it out. And then with the lift, you can bring down your shadows. So let your shadows just sit on the zero at the bottom right on your scopes, and then your gamma, raise it so it's more in the middle Let's see it's me watch the the wheels as sometimes it can be very finicky see that i have brought it down so now you can see that there's more color in the picture raise the, the white slightly back up again so it's hitting the very top or sorry lower your shadows so that it's just sitting along the bottom and then make sure your light is around the top so you can really see the difference in what I had here versus before you will be expected to be color correcting during a live show at times so having this skill will be very useful and this is my tutorial on how to do some color balancing on video